Welcome everybody to the Tone Priest 4th of July special. We've got a big episode today. We're celebrating the uh, greatest holiday that is marking the birth of the greatest nation that ever was or ever will be. And I was trying to think what can we do that would be appropriate for this very special of all holidays. And then I woke up early this morning and kept hearing this noise in my head very faintly. And it grew and it grew and it grew and then it hit me. That's right, we're going to build a univibe. Not really a univibe, we're going to build a photon vibe. Which is a clone of a love pedal vibranaut. What could be more appropriate? So we went to pedal PCB. They have the photon vibe uh, PCB here. We're going to use that. We've got a red enclosure. We'll find some white and blue knobs, maybe, hopefully. And we'll put this sucker together. And then we'll shoot off some fireworks and we'll celebrate, you know, the birth of good tone. So if that sounds interesting to you, and I know it will, hang tight. Here we go. Okay, I've got the camera set up on Mr. Tripod here. We'll just take a, a second to look at our uh, materials. Here is... PCB that we purchased from pedalpcb.com and here's the build guide if you want to take a little screen snap of that is the layout here's the bill of materials or the parts list as they call it here is the schematic can you see that I hope you can you can uh Go on their website and print this out yourself if you'd like. There she is. And we have the offboard wiring. And finally, the drill template. There you go. Make sure you get all your holes in the right place. All right, so that's the plan for the day. We're going to build a Photon Vibe, which is a clone of a Love Pedal Aquanaut. Gentlemen. It has been established beyond reasonable doubt that this was no normal act of war. It is clear that some evil and mysterious force is working against us. This is a job for the wasps. Alert the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Not an Aquanaut. Vibranaut, which is a univibe sounding effect. And um, as we can see, it's got a uh, light bulb in here, and then it's got four light Dependent resistors, so this is the real deal right here, baby. We are all in on this one. Someone forget to bring their balls. And this is the first one. Uh, normally, when I put in the potentiometers, I put them on wires. I don't uh, mount them directly to the PCB, but we're going to do this right this time. We're going to have right angle PCB mount potentiometers. We're going to use the drill template. We're going to try and do it professional for a change. Because this is a very cool effect, um, certainly an essential part of anyone's pedal board. So we're going to do this sucker right, and uh, well, we're going to try and do this sucker right. So uh, without further ado, let's do it, baby. Okay, if you don't know how to build an effects pedal, uh, basically from scratch, I have a bunch of other effects pedal builds on uh, my channel here. So I'm just kind of going to blast through this sucker. But I'll go through the basics. What you want to do, once you have all your components, you want to buy all your components that you need. Um, but when you're building it, you want to start with the things that are smallest in height. And you work your way up to things that are taller, taller, taller until you're done. So that means the first thing that we're going to install are any jumpers. Uh, I don't think there are any jumpers on this board, but we'll double check. And then we'll move on to little diodes. Um, then we'll go to resistors. Then the bigger diodes, then uh, maybe the, um, if it has any uh, ceramic capacitors, etc., etc. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just makes the, uh, the building of a pedal um, easier. So, we're going to start with any jumpers, and then we're going to move on to um, diodes. What do we have for diodes here? Yeah, we got a bunch of diodes. So we'll move on to those after there are any jumpers, and then we'll do the resistors and blah, blah, blah. You'll see. I'll do a little montage. Okay, we're moving right along with our Photon Vibe Love Pedal Vibranaut 
clone pedal PCB here. Uh, looks like the PCB was designed to take 8th watt resistors. Uh, I have quarter watt resistors. So as you can see, they're all kind of angled a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. And then on the bigger diodes here, the uh, 5817s. Uh, the way to get those to fit is one leg goes straight down and then you bend the other leg over at a 180 degree angle or thereabouts. But we're moving right along. We have our diodes and our resistors installed, and so now I'm going to move on to the capacitors. And I'm going to start with the smallest ones and work my way up, generally speaking. So there you go. Okay, now I'm down to the part where I'm uh, installing the bleeding heart of this pedal, which is a lamp and four light-dependent resistors. Here's another shot of that stuff. Let's see if we can get a little light. There we go. Uh, these are the part numbers. Where are the part numbers? So the LDRs are Silonex 7532s, and the lamp is a CM7371. The lamp I found on mouser.com. Uh, in the Silent X 7532s I got from Small Bear Electronics. And I looked at some gut shots online, and it looks like we want to kind of aim the LDRs at the lamp like that, sort of like solar panels. Come on. Sort of like solar panels aiming at the sun. But uh, who knows, this is my first time building something like this, so we'll see how it works. Um, if I were to build this pedal again... Um, as we talked about before, we kind of had to put the resistors in cockeyed because I'm using quarter watt resistors. See right here, where they're next to the IC socket, I would angle them the other way. So the uh, right side of the resistor would be against the board and the left side would be cocked up because it would uh, make it easier to install the chip socket. And also need to be careful right here if you can see that the legs of the LDR we just don't want those to uh, short out against the legs of those resistors so I'd probably again the right side of the resistor I would install down against the board and have the left side kicked up but uh, it should be fine the way it is if necessary I'll stick something in there to make sure nothing gets bridged but yeah she's coming along she's almost done so the tone priest is gonna have a little bit of lasagna for lunch and uh, we'll be back and hopefully uh, get this thing up and running. All right, this is what the LDR looks like before I'm installing it. I just put a couple of pieces of heat shrink around the legs and gave it a couple of little bends. And uh, now we'll slide it in and... Uh... Oh, there we go. It's in focus. Yeah, here you go. And there we go. All of the components are highly lit in yellow, so that means they've all been installed there. We still need to socket the chips and put the pots on and do the outboard gear. But uh, yeah, there she is. I hope she works. This is pretty cool. Looks like a uh, flower. Feed me see more. Good times. All right, lunch is over and we are back at it. I had the special 4th of July All-American lasagna. And now we're going to um, have the official snack food of the Tone Church here, Funny Bones, made by Drake's. Just gotta have them, best stuff ever. So while I'm building this sucker, in the uh, background I have uh, pulled up on the old computer um, some videos and I uh, watched Dwight Eisenhower's farewell address and John Kennedy's inaugural address. And I found it interesting that a lot of their views or principles were, were very similar. There wasn't, you know, such a humongous divide between left and right back then. Of course, today, Kennedy would probably be considered far right. But. 
I would like to take this opportunity to uh, express my fondness for uh, Duff Beer. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, it's good stuff, you know. If you want to put some stuff into your brain that isn't complete trash and, you know, that's 4th of July related, uh, go check those out. Those are always uh, excellent to watch. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We are here to exercise our inalienable right to good tone. So without further ado, let's get the pots installed and the off-board gear installed and uh, we'll be able to test this sucker out. Here is our selection of potentiometers. Apparently the reverse audio taper 100k dual pot was unavailable. So we're going with a linear taper. And one little thing I want to show you here. So when we install the board, it's going to go like this. So this side is going to be facing the inside of the enclosure. And that means the pots need to go in like this. Like so. But as you can see, the back of the potentiometer is metal and you have all the uh, ends of your components there. So it's very easy for that to short out all your stuff. So in order to avoid that, we have some pot condoms here. And I got these from guitarpedalparts.com. They're super cheap. They're like 15 cents each. And all you do is just uh, pop it on there. Roll it all the way down to the base and ready to insert. Here's our potentiometers with their potentiometer condoms on. And for the, the dual gang potentiometer, the uh, condom isn't going to fit without alterations. So you just need to... Uh, Cut it up a little bit with your pliers or whatever you have um, so it will fit. And it's not the greatest uh, fit, but once it's installed on the board here, uh, where are you going? Right here. Yeah. Once it's installed on the board and soldered in, that thing won't be going anywhere. And that will protect the uh, circuit from shorting out. Okay, we're skipping ahead a little bit here. I have the board completed, and then pretty much the pedal is completed. Here's how she looks from the back side anyway. And when I plugged her in and fired her up for the first time, uh, I couldn't get it to make any noise. And the light bulb wasn't uh, working. But the LED, the uh, bypass LED was working, so I knew, you know, it was at least half right. But I played around with the trimmers a little bit, and the light bulb came on, and that seemed to work, but I, I still couldn't get any sound. So I was wondering, what the heck's going on here? But um, just by playing around, I realized that all the knobs work backwards. Which is strange, because there's no way to install PCB mount knobs from this side of the board. So I don't know what they were thinking on that. Uh, but whatever, it is what it is. So if we look over here on our schematic, yeah, let me put you on Mr. Tripod. All right, so there was no build instructions other than, you know, the pages that we've already looked at, the schematic, the board layout, the parts list, and then the uh, drill template. So they don't really tell us what the trimmers do here, but if we uh, examine the circuit, comes in, we have our, right at the beginning here, we have our base uh, potentiometer base adjustment goes in through a non-inverting op amp and then these four sections of op amps the TLO 72s uh, they affect I guess what would you call the phasiness or the waviness of the four separate LDRs and I'm sure these um, four values of capacitors affect that and give it that crisscrossy waviness so the signal breaks this way, and it also goes around it, sort of the, this would be your dry signal. And then it comes back to trimmer 1. So we have the affected signal and the dry signal. So this trimmer 1 is going to be, I imagine, some kind of um, balance between affected and dry tone. And we have our treble. We have another op amp boosting it up. And then we have our level. And then it goes out. Uh, this portion right here controls the lamp. 
And we have our other two trimmers there, trimmer three and trimmer two. And we also have our depth and our speed control of the, uh, the vibrations. Is that what this effect is called, the vibros? And that's going to affect the lamp, how bright it is and how quickly it illuminates and shuts off. And then down here we have the uh, power supply. So it's uh, not the most complicated thing in the world, but it, it, it definitely has its, um, you know, its cleverness, especially in this setup here. But, uh, alright, let me um, adjust the camera and then we'll play with the trimmers. Alright, here you can see our little light blinking away there. So this would be trimmer three. Alright, that's what he does. This is trimmer two. And I've got him cranked all the way up. Trimmer three, where did I leave him? About halfway, right in the middle, which is probably about where it should be. And then trimmer one. Hmm. What does trimmer one do? Oh, that was the mix. So we're, we're going to have to play the guitar while we're adjusting that and see what happens. Well, it is what it is. Let's um, package her up and see what she can do. Here's the top side of the pedal without the knobs on yet. And here's the other little critique I have with this, this build here. So, like I said before, I wanted to use the drill template and so I could make everything all nice and straight and look nice. But the dual gang potentiometer uh, sits a little bit differently than just the single gang one so that's this guy here so he's pushed up a little bit and obviously what they had in mind the part they had in mind was different than the one that I was using but they don't really give you tell you you know a part number or anything or where to get it on their uh, parts list so whatever it is what it is um, if I had known that, I probably would have used, you know, wires and not done the right angle PCB mount. But, uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. Well, there she is. She ain't perfect, but she's pretty awesome. Sort of like the United States. I've got her hooked up with uh, an Angry Charlie here, a little bit of reverb. Going through the Basic Man Deluxe. Let's see how she sounds. Thank <laughs> you.
Happy 4th of July, everybody. Thanks for coming.